Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking about the complicated career of Sneeko. Sneeko, whose real name is Nicholas Nico Candy Valadazi, <laughs> or Hubert, is a former YouTuber turned rumbler. He started his career back in 2013 on YouTube and has created lots of controversy, mainly over his political views and the way he sees the world. I saw Cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. No! Sneeko was a YouTuber first and foremost. His videos were... I can't really describe it. His videos were his own. However, in 2022, something changed. Bullying is necessary. Wake up, Carl! You're dumb! I make no sense! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sneeko, S-H-N-E-A-K-O, is the second channel that he had on YouTube. It was ultimately the channel that would lead to him being extremely active, but also to be cancelled. After he discovered Andrew Tate, that was it. Sneeko became fascinated with the opinions and actions of Tate so much that he literally became the Walmart version of him. If I'm Morpheus, you could be Neo. By the end, he gained nearly 2 million subscribers on both of his YouTube channels and millions and millions of views, almost hundreds of millions of views on this, on YouTube. Sneeko has a motto. Of seeking truth through funny. Yeah. That was a bad there was a brief moment in time where he did stand-up comedy. The most he ever got out of it was a signed $100 bill by Dave Chappelle. I literally see comments of people saying that the 16-year-old self that you were was smarter than how you are now. You have criticized Charlie, D'Angelo, but Brandon, all these people multiple times, Ethan Klein, like you have gone after people so much to the point where it, now, now I just expect you to say something. If someone criticizes you, I'm like, well, I guess, you know, Sneeko in the gym, he's, he's like, oh, 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 someone, someone called me out for being a cuck, for being, oh, oh my god, I have to tweet about it, oh my god, how dare you, you soy boy, boss, NPC, you're an NPC. Nobody wants to see what I have to say. I've become a caricature on YouTube rather than somebody who has something to say. It's, I've become a meme because I am banned. That's not victimizing, that's actively pointing out how strong censorship is and how people on mainstream platforms can run with the narrative when you're not there. Perhaps if it wasn't for him streaming on YouTube and being consistent and, and saying all the things he did for people to post videos about him on TikTok and YouTube, perhaps if that didn't happen, he wouldn't be in the position he's at now. Like, he thinks he's doing the world a lot of good by exposing the Matrix and following the Andrew Tate's message, but at the end of the day, people are going to do whatever they're going to do. You know, like, you, you have made me think. You made me think more about society. I will give you credit there, but it's just your approach. It's just the way you're going about it. Like, you know, I understand people are going to take things out of context, you know, and, and maybe people don't want to hear the truth, but it's just too much. It's just too much. We love soy boys. We love soy boys.